I'm Kaylee. And I'm Grace, and this is your Daily News. The parent meeting for the Boston New York trip is tonight in the library from 7 to 8 p.m. See Mr. McAllister with any questions. Homecoming outside date forms are available in the front office. See Mrs. Varner or Mrs. Naylor to pick up a form. Spirit Club is looking for ideas for Spirit Week. Complete the survey on Schoology. Viking Book Club members, remember that your $10 dues are to be paid to the bank by this Friday, September 21st. See Mrs. Esser in the library if you have any questions or concerns. FCCLA is sponsoring a car wash this Saturday, September 22nd at Petro Deli from 9 to 2. Free donations are accepted. Proceeds will go to help send members to compete. Me sticks are available from, for sale now. Buy from Ms. Van Gordon, Mr. Wilson, or Mr. Ruda. Author Neil Schusterman will be here October 11th from 1045 to 1145. Any student wanting to attend should sign up through the library group on Schoology or stop by the library. Leadership class has evaluated the color chaos and we thank you for your input. We are passing on some great ideas for next year and we'll send it over on over to sports after this quick commercial break. Seaman students should enroll in challenging courses such as Honors English. Always be engaged in the activity and show self-control. Also, follow classroom policies and procedures. Be considerate of others' opinions and collaborate with others to problem solve. Treat school property with respect. Complete work on time. Be a Viking and an engaged student. Seaman strong. Honey, where's my SDTV? Wow, the yearbook from last year looks great. What the heck? If you like the design from this year's yearbook, you can order next year's early. What? Really? How? If you're interested in ordering a yearbook for 2018 through 2019 school year, stop by Mrs. Riley's room in C2 before or after school or any time between first and third hour. You can also order them online at jostens.com. Yearbooks are only $70 until March. Wow, I better get one right away. No! Congratulations to the girls golf team for winning first place at the tournament yesterday. Boys soccer played against Manhattan and sadly lost 9-1. to We'll get them next time, bikes. Now over to weatherman Josh to see the drastic change in weather this week. Good afternoon to you. We are tracking another hot day and you can see that we could be near record high temperatures. Right now I'm calling for 92 and that will be close, but it could go a little bit over that. Windy tomorrow afternoon. It's windy today, but it's going to be even more windy tomorrow afternoon. Wind sustained over 20 miles per hour with gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. And then much cooler weather is on the way for the end of the week and into the weekend. I think you're going to enjoy the football game weather. We'll take a closer look at that tomorrow. Late Thursday night, we are checking again this storm chance starting out in northwestern Kansas and spreading into our portion of the state. I think there could be some stronger storms to our northwest, but they should weaken by the time they get here, so the primary threat will be heavy rainfall. And now for your SVTV 7-day forecast, you can see that again we're looking at that 20 degree drop in high temperatures from Thursday to Friday. Pretty comfortable weather continues into the weekend and early next week, and you'll notice low temperatures are falling down into the 50s and 60s. But as we head into the middle portions of next week, models are starting to hone in on an Arctic blast emerging from the north. And this could mean highs in the 50s and 60s from Wednesday through Friday. We'll keep a co close eye on this cold front, but for now, back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Enjoy the rest of your day.